<laughs> Must be mm. nice. Man, I'm telling you, like I'm crazy about this stuff. I need a lifetime supply. Like I'm trying to get Mountain Dew to holler at me. I was thinking about maybe carrying the bottle around places, like bringing it to press conferences, stuff like that, you know? Something? I don't know, man, that kind of sounds desperate. Well, it might be a little bit desperate. Come on, you're supposed to have my back. All right, hey, all right, you feel me? I would just staple the bottle to my hand and just walk around everywhere with it. There would be no place I'm not with the Mountain Dew, you know? But hey, this is what I would do. Would call your agent, he's supposed to be the one helping you. I know, with I know, I know, I'm trying to think of stuff, but uh, if you think of anything, let me know. I think I have a few ideas. We are in Milwaukee, where the Bucks are looking to take one in the interconference game at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. I'm Kip. And we've got time. Well, thank you for that, David, and a lot of faith being placed on these rookies. But you had to know it was coming with how they have been playing together. You want to give rookies time to Boys, grow, nice but they nine. both look ready for that starting spot. And clearly the Bucks, one of the more youthful teams in the league. The players they plan to build around have a few years before they're even in their mid-20s, so a bright future. I mean, their youth can be good and bad. It kind of cuts both ways during the season. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court right now for the Spurs, Leonard and Aldridge, the two stars at the three and the four. Parker and Green, the tried and tested backcourt. And it's Gasol and at the five, roaming the paint. And with the double-edged sword of youth, the Bucks have just been trying to focus on getting better and growing their talent the last year or two. And I like that approach. I think it's the right approach to take with a team like this. Getting them to learn what it takes to be a consistent player in the NBA is huge. I mean, letting them come together organically and having leaders emerge has been part of the process. It takes a little longer that way, but I think it is more of a solid foundation when you start competing in playoff basketball. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The Spurs shooting their first foul shot of the night. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. Guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, they've been so calm, cool, and consistent at the stripe this year. I mean, that's impressive. Pass to Green. He feeds it to Aldrich. Down to five on the shot clock. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And he gets it back. Prez with the ball. He's against Green. Screen by Monroe. And Young kicks to Parker. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Leonard dishes to Parker. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Parker's got himself on the board with three there. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Under the Kumbo with the ball. Now Green defending. Leonard with the steal. And the call will be against Brez. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. To the middle. Aldridge's shot is good. Aldridge has got his second bucket. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's key to this run. Passing it with purpose. The D hasn't been able to keep up. Kane, the pass to Parker. Down low. Young. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Yeah, just remarkable focus by Young to nail the shot. The D starting to rough him up a little bit, but in the end, it doesn't matter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. 
Screen by Parker. Prez kicks to Young. Inside. Tries from 10. Misses off the right iron. Well, that's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. One thing you have to love about Jabari Parker is the level of competitiveness he brings to the court. He is always putting in the extra time at the gym, trying to lead by example on his team. You know, there's just an air, guys, of maturity around this player that you don't see from players his age in this league. Yeah, well said, Kevin. And I think he brought some of those attributes of maturity and work ethic to the table. But I think his injury enhanced those attributes. And anytime the game is taken away due to injury and you get a chance to get back, I think there's a greater hunger and appreciation. Just to get on the floor, he had to work extremely hard. So I don't think he takes that for granted now. While it was a setback, I think it also was a launching pad for what I think is going to be an all-star career. A different look for Milwaukee. John Ensign's checked in for Monroe. Mirza Toledovic comes in for Parker. And Middleton subbed in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Perez is just brilliant. Just has such remarkable initiative and moves well without the ball. There's the pick. There's a minute 40 left here in the opening quarter. Screen by Lee. Here's Mills. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Now Prez. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Brooklyn. And don't forget about his playmaking in that game either. I mean, he did a great job of attacking the D and creating opportunities for both himself and his teammates. The Bucks shooting their third and fourth free throws. Bucks trail by four. Kane in its small forward. Riz Middleton is out there with Young. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Monroe in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Here's Kane. Count that one. Kane's got five. And what a shakeup it is for this team. Several changes as both Prez and Justice Young have been inserted into the starting lineup. And it's a big change to do all at once. But the way these two have been playing off one another, coming off the bench, it, it just made sense to give them more opportunities together. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his first foul. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Young with no one around. Connects from three-point range. Young's got his second bucket tonight. And, and really, Young is very efficient at shooting the triple. Uh, the D has to be better guarding him from out there. Good-looking screen by Gasol. Right side, Aldridge. Trying to get back on track. That doesn't go either for Aldridge. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. The rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean... Just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley oop chants. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, Tony Parker is in his 16th season in the NBA, and he says, if I'm healthy, hopefully I can play 20 seasons, and then I'll be ready to retire. My time will come soon, but I want to enjoy my last years in the NBA. Kevin, he said he obviously wants to finish his career as a spur. Thanks to you, that's so rare in any sport nowadays to spend your whole career with one team. Jabari Parker's checked in for Milwaukee. And what about the way Gasol sees the floor? So gifted at whipping the ball all over to the open man. Prez with the ball. Picked up by Aldridge. That was enough space for Young to convert the deep ball. And Young can knock those down if you give him the chance. Spurs trail by four. Parker kicks to Gasol. Gasol setting the pick for Leonard. The dish to Aldrich. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. 
Yeah, you know, it's interesting. The classy LaMarcus Aldridge, first drafted by Chicago, then the rights traded to the Portland Trailblazers. You know, Greg, he was seen as a complimentary piece initially to their stars, but by the time he left, many wondered also, he's now a superstar, but could he embrace a smaller role, especially a smaller scoring role with the San Antonio Spurs? And it shows how far he came during his time in Portland. Last season, some of the lowest minutes and points per game of his career, but he was efficient rebounded and blocked shots at a higher clip and he wanted a chance to compete at the highest level here's Parker he points his last outing as to Leonard six on the shot clock shoots one a little long. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. Here's the lob to Prez. Young hooking up Prez on that score. Terrific play by Orange Juice. And those two have such great timing together. They, they make the game look simple. The play of Orange Juice just hasn't been the talk of the team. It's been the engine as well. The whole team, the entire team playing better. The new duo on the floor. And I think in part it's because of all the attention defenders have to spend on both Prez and Young. Orange Juice has a gravity when they are on the floor where defenders just get pulled towards them. It's Young on the wing, down low, Parker with the steal. And now running up the court, Leonard pushing it up. A three ball, Parker's shot is off. Bucks leading by three. 137 left here in the second. Prez dishes to Monroe. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball move. And Aldrich, the basket on the assist by Parker. Parker's got four assists in the game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Prez kicks to Young. To the paint, trying to find Parker. He's got it now. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Parker's got the lead. Back up to five now for Milwaukee. No easy buckets now. Hustle up. Listen, guys. We've got one guy doing all the damage out there. Am I our game? And the first half is... All right, gentlemen, hustle up. That was a great first half. I love the... Welcome back to the Great Lakes. We're back on the shores of Lake Michigan here in Milwaukee in the buildings in the background at sunset in Wisconsin. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. We're seeing a tremendous game from LaMarcus Aldridge. He created a lot of quality shots for himself in that first half, and he knew when to pass it up when the double team came. And that led to a very high points per shot number for him, for those of you that are into analytics. That stat really tells how efficient the player has been. He's been very efficient so far. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. Parker and Green, the tried and tested backcourt. Leonard and Aldridge, the two stars at the three and the four. And it's Gasol and at the center locking down the middle. Just a great playmaking sequence by Parker there coming away with the assist. Here's Young. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Young's got 14. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Parker outside. Baseline try. That's it, and the Milwaukee leaders get back down to single digits on a much-needed basket there from Aldridge. Yeah, it's just a smart shot taking advantage of the mismatch. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, mid-range J is almost a gimme. Kane, the pass to Young. He's looking for Monroe and finds him. 
And, and really, Gasol does an incredible job getting his hands up in the air, which results in a ton of rejection. Aldrich kicks to Gasol. It's tipped. Goes up the baseline. Green, no luck. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Young in the corner. He dishes it to Prez. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Plumley is checked in for Greg Monroe. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Four on the shot clock. The shot's good from Plumley. You know, even though Antetokounmpo is a bigger guy, longer guy, he handles and passes like a point guard. I mean, he's always on the lookout for how he can set up his teammates for good shots. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Parker kicks to Prez. And it's good on the assist by Parker. And that's now 11 points for Prez. Well, this team is just full of camaraderie, and it goes beyond orange juice in the starters. Prez and Denver Levens are also very tightly knit. It says a lot about Prez to put his trust in a guy like Levens, who, who only plays spot minutes. But on this roster, there is no pecking order. Everyone is cool with everyone else, it seems. And after battling a hamstring injury a couple seasons ago, Tony Parker is stepping up his physical maintenance and, and preparation regimen. More stretching and warming up before games, more recovery work afterwards. He's doing what it takes to stay healthy. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Here's Ande Tacumbo, Parker and Monroe together inside. Young is out there with Prez, and it's Ande Tacumbo in at the three spot. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Here's Kane, and it's off the back rim, no good. Ill advised shot there. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. Parker outside, kicks it to Gasol, outside Green. But he gets it back. Young against Parker. Outside Leonard. Young with the steal. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. That's good from Prez on the assist from Young. Kane's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Bucks. Breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Milwaukee. Boy, they're hounding, harassing efforts at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. It's Young on the wing. Monroe dishes to Young. Kane. Second chance shot. And no good that time. Nice Steve from Aldridge. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. They get a hand on it. Young with the steal. Pass to Kane. A rebound by Gasol. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Bucks leading by seven. Screened by Parker. Young passes to Kane. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And last season we had Kobe's retirement, but in the offseason we said goodbye to another legend, the terrific Tim Duncan. You know, Greg, there was talk he might hang it up, and he felt that he didn't have any more in him and called it a career after 19 incredible record-breaking seasons. Yeah, and, and Timmy retired in the most Duncan way possible. Just quietly let it happen in the midst of the summer. No farewell tour or any of that. 
a big hit to the game of basketball to see one of the all-time greats walk away, but arguably one of the best two-way players to have ever played the game. Onda Takumbo kicks to Prez. And the rejection by Leonard. From downtown. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And now just a four-point Milwaukee lead. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Screen by Monroe. Kane, that's good. Yeah, he hasn't had much luck getting shots to fall here. Just two of seven down the stretch. The Spurs have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. And there's the feed to Aldrich. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And the long reach of Antetokounmpo. I mean, stretches for days. And because of that, he's excellent at challenging shots. What a game Justice Young is having. He has 14 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. And that's been an important part of his game today. It's really spaced the floor. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Parker kicks to Aldridge. Pulls up on the wing. That's short off the rim. Bucks leading by nine. Tipped away. Young dishes to Parker. And that one, good. The wingspan of Parker is what helps him get these shots off. I mean, even when he's getting fouled, he's effortless in his shot attempts. And that one falls for Parker. And everyone knows about Jabari Parker and how he has come back from a ACL knee injury he suffered as a rookie. The more Nice job, Orange Juice. Hustle up, take a seat. Looks like he never, in fact, had any issues at all. Yeah, that's a great point and a good observation. And I think uh, his explosiveness has surprised a lot of people. This is a guy that's got power going to the basket and can finish through contact. And, man, he's a guy that I think is going to be a big-time scorer for a long time. On Ginobili, he's checked in for San Antonio. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During that break, Greg Popovich really had some strong advice for his team. He told them not to hold back. He said, I want 100% effort out there. If you can't give it, I'll get you out. No time to rest. Let's get after it. Ebony needs everything they've got. Thanks, David. And when you give Parker room to work his magic down inside, he knows how to finish with style. One fifty-one left in the game. Monroe left side. Gasol with the steal. Parker passes to all. And it's good. Off to contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Boy, that was a thing of beauty by Parker. We've seen Aldridge playing a good game here. He's got 19 points and one rejection in this game, too. <laughs> and was it a good one? Really, one of their highlights of the game, defensively. Monroe with a screen on Geno. Prez kicks to Monroe. And it's slammed in by Monroe. Man, he's just a fundamentally sound player. I mean, Greg Monroe is somebody who sets picks really well. And because of that, he makes defenders feel like they're running into something other than just a basketball player. And it's good for two. Milwaukee leading by nine. Dishes to Young. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Monroe controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears, it'll be a nice win here for the Bucks. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it just seemed to pay off for them. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And it always feels good to get that first win in the season series. Going head-to-head -head twice this year, this will put them up one nothing so far against the Spurs. And what a huge standout performance it was for Young. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Yeah, and that's what you want from your point guard. Parker distributing the ball wonderfully on that possession. Perez dishes to Parker. Moves back up. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. It's the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. 
some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Hey, Jess, you look like you're ready yeah. to play another game, man. Yeah, double header, like baseball? That sounds legit. I just don't know how you keep all that energy up, man. You were doing everything out there tonight. Assists, steals, shots, defense. I mean, how do you... I don't get tired. I don't. I told you. I don't get tired. That's why I like you, man. That's why I respect you, man. I look up to you because you just have this, I don't know what it is. Xavier! Keep going, Press. Keep going. Can you talk more about your adjustments in the league? Uh, what I mean is, how do you handle the outside world? The endorsements, the requests, staying in shape? Yeah, basically, I just worry about what I can control, you know. Uh, I'm learning how to deal with all the off-the-court demands, uh, but I still keep my priorities straight. You know, all the off-the-court stuff, I delegate to my mom and my agent, stuff like that. So, thank you. Next question? No, Denver, next question? 